the only ghost of League of Legends. Get out of here, Gangplank. To counter him, pick someone like Olaf who gets to level 6 and essentially says, either ult out of here or die trying to fight me. Udyr can constantly outrun and outtrade him if he times his abilities correctly, and Vi can also stick to him like she's got glue all over her. Shivana for her ultimate and Nox inability to kite away or shroud her abilities makes another viable counter, as well as Nunu who won't be able to kill Nox, but is annoying enough to steal camps and ignore him. Finally, this one isn't really played much, but if you pick Vayne jungle and try to duel him, you can essentially make him rage quit due to the amount of flame he'll get from losing jungle to a vein. As for his abilities, his passive grants his auto attacks some enhancements like extra damage and more healings every 10 seconds. His Q creates a trail that ghosts knock and grants him movement speed. If it hits an enemy champion, then they will also leave a trail behind them for 5 seconds. His W grants him bonus attack speed and shrouds him in a cloak that serves as his spell shield for 1.5 seconds. His E makes him put nightmares into his enemies for 2 seconds and if the tether isn't broken before the end of it, then they'll flee for a short duration and be slowed by 90% as well. His ultimate applies near side to every enemy champion in the game and within 4 seconds, Nock gets a dash to an enemy of his choosing within a very long range. His combo is quite simple, hit you with Q so that you leave a trail for him to guarantee you hitting his E for the full duration and he'll most likely activate the cloak while he's using his E to prevent you from CCing him out of it. Like most junglers, he'll take the smite flash combo, which you should be looking into taking as well if you're going jungle against him. As for his power spikes, his level 2 is pretty good with just his Q and E, so be careful about a top gang at around 3 minutes since it's very common. Whenever he puts another point into his ultimate, I'll increase his ultimate range so you won't be safe anywhere. Most nocturnes go for attack speed builds because of his passive so items like Frozen Heart, which reduce attack speed, work really well against him. His early game is nothing special, but he strives in the mid game and can be really annoying late game to split pushers and targets far from their teams. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, his Q has one big flaw, that being that it is seeable through the fog of war, so look around the map to see where he's at. Stick together whenever Nock uses his ultimate so that you know where everyone is and, and save your abilities before he spell shields them.